That's been, and so please describe to me what the aesthetic look is exactly. More like this guy here. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we'll go ahead and read Oh, wow, you really have to come in here? Is this, no, what, is this really happening? He you met the other guy behind you, bro. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm right into that bad boy. You can stay right there, behind the camera. <laughs> behind the camera. No, see, now that you got me jealous now. That's okay. That's not no, fair. You're, you're more in the, the category, like, uh, Luther Rector, Arnold, okay? My man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Arnold Ferrigno. Huh? Okay. okay. Aesthetic. <laughs>
Which words were like little toy kinds No sting, no hurt, no one Just a bang, bang Right? Is that it's, it? Yeah, it's, it's something like that. Just a bang, Toy bang, guns. rolling off your tongue. <laughs> Toy guns. It's no smoke, no bullets. Water guns. All right. Rockin' with that dude Pascal We be going wild Haitian in the building So, so, so original Got the haters Got your feelings Get your hands up to the ceiling And keep them held high Cause Sandy Wiss is ready Forget about it Goodbye Her but we just saying hi Five somebody Rise up weekdays Catch us live Somebody let's go Good evening everybody And welcome to the Pascal Show Yes, I hope you guys Are having a fantastic evening you know, it's 7 o'clock on a Thursday night. We all should be, you know, getting turned up, getting ready for the weekend, getting all loosey-goosey and having a good time. But tonight, unfortunately, we are still locked up. You know what I'm saying? We're still locked up in our houses for now. But nonetheless, you guys are tuning in. You're here on the Pascal Show, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I'm hoping you guys are having a fantastic one. Of course, like I was saying in the title up above, as you see up there, it is time to kind of do a recap talk about the interview I just had with Joyce Hawkins. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet and you're looking at this and going, well, wait a second, what? You just had an interview with Joyce Hawkins? Yes, I did. And it was fantastic. And so you should go check it out. It is on the YouTube channel. So if you go to youtube.com forward slash the Pascal show, look for the beautiful thumbnail of her laughing and looking up into the sky with glitter cascading from behind her. Yes, that is her. Go click it. Go like it. Go subscribe the whole nine. But while I'm at it, for the people that are watching right now that are, let's just say it's their first time tuning into this show uh, they've seen the interview. They might have some questions in regards to <clears throat> in regards to my experience, what it was like interviewing her, the whole nines. You can ask them, comment down below. It's very simple. It's very simple. I had the, one of the most amazing conversations ever in my life with someone who is very, very special and very, very unique and very humble and very kind. And so I got to pick her brain, see what was good, and I had a great time. So I wanted to get this, give this kind of segment or this show, which is going to be a short one today. But I wanted to give this one, you guys, one that, you know, gives you an opportunity to talk to me because, you know, this was not an interview that was live. This was pre-taped months ago. Um, you know, it was sitting on the sitting on the shelf for a little bit. Finally, I was able to put it out and get it out now. Um, so there's obviously a lot of things that were not covered in that interview that I'm hoping to cover in another interview. In fact, I'm working on doing a recap interview with her very, very soon. So I'm really hoping for it. Hopefully, it'll be on Mother's Day. We don't know yet. She has not confirmed. She has not confirmed that yet. So, fingers crossed. I'm hoping that she says yes. I'm hoping that she has time. Because I know it's Mother's Day for crying out loud. She's busy. You know what I'm saying? She brought some, she brought some really important people into the world. You know? Life in general. You know? And she's a grandmother. She has now there's a newborn baby as well. So there's a lot that she has going on right now. But of course, if you guys have any questions, of course, please comment down below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. OK. No pressure. I will wait. Now, the funny thing is, is that um, let me just tell a little backstory. OK, so. Some people might go, oh, well, how did you get a chance to, to meet her? How did you get a chance to, to rap with her the whole nine? Well, long story short, I got invited out to Las Vegas to host 
a fashion show. And the fashion show happened to be with her or of her fashion. It was with Rose Marone. And so, uh, of course, I jumped at the opportunity because that's huge. That's a huge opportunity. I mean, you get to go meet Chris Brown's mother. And you get to host a fashion show, which is something I've never done before in my life. I had never done that before in my life. So I said, hell yeah, I jumped on it like hard, y'all. I jumped on it so hard. So we're out there and the fashion show was was great. You know, there was a we we ended up bonding through uh, trial by fire. You know, there was a lot of things that we had to go through during that time that kind of made all of us, me, Joyce, and um, and designer Kevin Mays, um, St. Louis native as well, we all basically basically kind of all bonded together, you know, um, because of the, the, just there were circumstances and things, you know, you, there was a lot of audibles throughout the entire time. Um, so we learn to bond and learn to be cool with each other. And through that, we, we had quite a good connection. So I left Las Vegas, came back home with a crap ton of stories. I mean, a crap ton. Um, experiences, stories, you know, tales about dogs and all that. And then, um, Man, someone was telling me like, hey, man, just, you know, you need to get back out there, like get back out to the West Coast as soon as possible. So I packed up like I was only home for maybe five days. I'm not kidding. Five days I packed up and I flew back out there. I flew out to L.A. and uh, stayed there for about five days. And during that five days, I did nothing but hang out with Joyce. I did nothing but hang out with Joyce and, and Kevin. And we had a blast just kicking it, swimming, chilling in the hot tubs, just just getting to know people. Joyce opened her doors to, to me and, and my girlfriend. And we got to just meet all her friends. We all I end up cooking for them. We end up just bonding and kicking it hard and having a really great time just bonding over everything. And, you know, uh, you know, apparently I can throw down. Yeah, I can throw down. I can cook. So um, that was a big icebreaker, being able to cook. So I cooked. Everyone was really happy about my cooking. Um, you know, we had a great time. We did a barbecue grill thing, that kind of thing. Nah, 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 nah. Everyone had a blast. All right. So then during that, during that time, I just said, hey, I would love to sit down with you and do an interview if that's possible. I just want to get to know. I want people to get to know you. You know, I don't think everybody gets an opportunity to talk with her. She's been on interviews before, but most of the time it's been her talking about her son, you know, but no one's ever really gotten a chance to really get to know her and what she does and who she is and, and, and the story behind her. So that's kind of what I told her. And she was totally down for it. You know, she was uh, so kind and cool with it so she was like you so you want to come over and you just want to sit you know you want to sit out by the pool and you know I'll give you a, a tour of the house and all that stuff and she just said hell yeah or you know I said hell yeah I jumped on it I jumped on that mug so hard <laughs> I was like yeah of course hell to the yeah is it okay to shoot some of the Grammys and shoot some of these you know, AMA awards and some of his paintings and all that and she she was just like yeah it's all good like it's all fine you know totally totally fine you know, so then I, you know, of course, during that time, I got to hang out with her, her, her family, got to know her, got to know her family even more, got to know royalty, the, her, uh, her granddaughter, you know, and, and, and just had a blast, you know, just had a really, really good time. And, and it was just, like I said, just one huge bonding experience. It was dope. It was hella dope. So then I got to sit down and rap with her, taped the whole thing, you know, packed up and flew back out. I mean, I was only I was only there for four or five days again. And the entire time I'm like, man, you know what? Something tells me to just something tells me to pack up the back of my car and just drive out there, figure it out and just go out there and see if I could just stay out there for like a month. And that's exactly what I did. I packed up the back of my 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 SUV and I 
drove three days out to L.A. and got to see what it was like to live in L.A. And let me tell you, L.A. is expensive. Holy God. Um, But I still got to hang out with her, um, hang out with other people that, you know, other friends that we made on the first trip that we were there for. Um, and just really got to bond with people, you know, and just got to know some really great people. And yeah, man, it was, like I said, so dope, so incredible. It was everything. And before I, you know, continue on with my story, you know, this show uh, is, uh, so this show is sponsored by a very, very, uh, incredible film production company. Um, and they are a hugely, like, absolutely proud sponsor of this show. And we love them. They love us. It's a wonderful synerg- synergetic thing, if that's even a word. Um, so huge shout out, huge, huge shout out to Little Book, Little Books, Little Films. And I, I got to be honest, man, these guys are absolutely amazing. If you have not seen any of their movies we're about to show you one right now i'm telling you guys this movie is called water i'm gonna show you a full trailer a teaser trailer to this movie it is off the chain you've got to see it um shot and directed uh written and directed by philip penza uh director actor artist extraordinary tell me you haven't seen anything strange happen around here in the last couple days <laughs> One of us is going to have to go. Ben, where are you? I'm not playing. I'm going to leave. Little Books, Little Films is a proud sponsor of the Pascal Show. You most definitely need to go check them out. Please go check out all of their movies over at Amazon Prime. They also have another movie called Scrutiny, the, uh, a, a TV series called Scrutiny, the original Hustlers. Y'all need to go and peep that show. They're about to start shooting the second se- season. And I'm telling you, it is definitely worth the watch. I'm telling you. You need to watch that show. That show is crazy, 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 crazy. All right. So go check it out. Scrutiny, the original Hustlers. Anyway, so moving on. um, Now, I'm seeing some people that are commenting and I really appreciate it. Um, You know what I'm saying? Like uh, Jazz. I remember when she liked my comment on Instagram and I was so happy that she realized uh, that she replied to me and then liked my comment again. And OMG, that made my day. That made a day's. She is so kind. Absolutely. She is fantastic. She's such a sweetheart. Very, very down to earth. Very, very kind. I'm serious. You know, thank you so much for watching the the interview and watching the segment. It really means a lot. She is, like I said, she's really, really dope. Really, really incredible. Um, OMG, you saw uh, royalty. You're, you're so lucky. Yeah, I, I got to hang out with her. She was really cool. I mean, she's a kid. So what do kids like to do? They just want to swim. They want to go play. You know, it was a lot of fun. Very cool, very wonderful child, you know, very cool kid. Very, very cool kid. Um, Will you say hi to Mariah? She loves watching you. Jalen, I'd like to know who the heck is Mariah? That's what I'd like to know. Who the heck is Mariah? Hmm. Who is Mariah, uh, Jalen? I'd like to know. I want to know. I want to know. Real talk. I'd like to know. But... I digress. So, you know, we shot it. We did the whole thing. I, uh, then, of course, I went back to L.A. I stayed there for a month, lived in uh, my buddy's uh, 
lived in a buddy's spot. Um, he had a empty apartment room or a room in his apartment that was available in uh, in Long Beach. So we went there and we just chilled out. We just hung the f out and uh, had a really good time. Just you know, absorbing everything, eating everything up, just seeing what California really had to offer. And I'm telling you, if I had all the money in the world kind of thing, I would move right over there. The only thing is, is that place is so damn expensive. Real freaking talk. And if you ain't securing the bag, I don't know how most of these people, most people even survive out there. I mean, shoot, the, just, just to have a room in an apartment is like 1400 plus it's insane like it's it's like new york it's new york rent numbers man so it was uh it was incredible it was incredible but at the same time like i'm i really do appreciate i did appreciate the time that i was there and just was able to absorb la lifestyle the California swag, the California energy, the whole nine. And like I said, if I could, if I could, I would live out there quickly, very quickly. The goal is to move out there. I mean, come on, but not right now, obviously, because the Rona, you know what I'm saying? So I'm chill on that. I'm super chill on that. But Jalen, uh, your granddaughter's name is Mariah. Okay. Well, hi, Mariah. Hello. Thank you so much for watching the show i appreciate it thank you so much for liking the show i i appreciate it you know you never know who watches the show i wonder how old is mariah jalen that's what i'd like to know too is she six seven that kind of thing i'd love to know but yes oh she's nine that's beautiful that's beautiful. Well, how is nine, Mariah? That's what I'd like to know. Man, when I was nine, I was climbing trees. I wasn't a big fan of video games. I'm still not a fan of video games. I don't really get them. But I, I like clam, climbing trees. I was climbing trees and, and riding my bike. That's all I did. I was outdoors all the time trying to think. I was like uh, Robin Hood trying to make bow and arrows out of out of twigs and sticks and stuff and all that crazy stuff you know what i'm saying that's what i did when i was nine i just went and had fun oh that's cool she likes exploring with you that's what's up that's beautiful as she should be as she should be enjoying that stuff you know what i mean you know that's that's dope you know but you know and, and that's the thing like I wish kids would do that a little bit more often. Go out, explore, climb trees, not be stuck on, the, on a phone playing video games all the time. You know, actually go out and be active. You know, I mean, that's, ex that's what I did. I mean, I was just climbing trees, jumping on trampolines, you know, you know, riding bikes and just, you know, playing freeze tag and trying to capture as many lightning bugs as I can, as I can. And you know, stuff like that just had fun. I just had fun. You know what I'm saying? I just went and explored, you know? And I feel like that's what a lot of kids need to do nowadays. They just don't do it. You know, that's good. Jalen, that's good that Mariah likes to go out outdoors. That's thank you, Jesus, that she does. I mean, thank to thank the good Lord that she does, because I'm telling you, kids, kids don't like doing that stuff no more. They ain't about that life as and they should be, you know, but unfortunately they ain't about that and it sucks. <laughs> That's just me. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Jalen. Thank you. Thank you. And Jalen, did you get a chance to see the interview? I was curious. Did you get a chance to see the interview? Definitely comment down below on that. Thank you so much for the $2. Thank you so much. I appreciate that 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 love. Any little bit of love is is uh, most definitely appreciated, you know? And then the other question I have for you, Jalen, is that I know that you kind of got into the interview that I had with Scott Schwartz at the last minute last night. And I, I wish 
I still haven't seen it. Okay. Oh, uh, well, tell Mariah, thank you so much for the sticker. Seriously, that really makes my day. Thank you. That's very sweet. Th t thank you, Mariah. Thank you. Um, but uh, if you haven't seen the interview with Scott Schwartz, you should check it out because it's, it's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. And we, we really, you know, we really went into depth in regards to the, uh, the My Truth um, documentary, the all the stuff that they have going on, you know, all the stuff that uh, Corey Feldman's involved in. We, we kind of did a deep dive and and what's so dope, you know, a huge shout out and salute to uh, Scotty Schwartz because he, he just jumped in and just kind of, you know, said the truth, said his piece. And uh, it was everything I needed it to be because. I've been debating. I've been, you know, I'm I'm a little bit of a skeptic when it comes to that documentary, when it comes to that whole angle. So I wanted to have. I needed to hear it from somebody who has been close friends with at least one of them, you know, and, and here's the other thing. I don't know if Feldman and Schwartz had a falling out type of thing. I, I don't know about that part. I, I don't know fully about that. In fact, that's something I should have asked him last night, but I never did. Um, but he did speak very candidly. He was very close with, he was very, very close with Haim. So being able to have that information from him was very important. And, and of course, it gave me a chance to really just kind of assess my own opinions about everything, you know? And, and it comes down to still, I still think that for Corey Feldman was just trying to secure the bag. That's all I think. You know, unfortunately, that is all I think. He was trying to secure the bag. But definitely check it out, you know. And yes, I do think Jalen, absolutely. I think he's a very, very good source. Uh, my client lo my client lo is, is crazy right now. The virus has so many people stuck in with their abusers. I watch in between appointments. Oh, thank you. Well, I think I appreciate you just, you know, jumping in and out. You know, I, I do appreciate that, you know. Um, and yes, please keep saving people's lives mentally, seriously, because you're, you're saving people's lives. And I commend you for that because we need more people like you in the world. Real talk. I, I hope I'm, I, I contribute to a certain extent, except I don't have people calling in with their issues or with their problems and stuff, you know, I, and obviously I ain't no Dr. Phil, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a Dr. Phil and I'm not an Oprah, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I can just go, you get a car, you get, a, I don't have that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not that, but I'm hoping that people can at least laugh, have an intelligent conversation with me, um, Call me a dumbass. I don't care. But, you know, at least have something to walk away from this, you know, and just feel some so some sort of solace. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. I really do. You know, that's huge. That's huge, as Trump would say. Huge. You know? But, yeah. Other than that, I mean, you know, I would just definitely... I have a couple of kids that survived trafficking. Wow, that's heavy. You know, and, and the thing is, is like, what's wild is that you have kids that survive trafficking in St. Louis? Because I've also, I, I heard something, I heard around something that, that was, I heard something around somewhere that, hey B, how you doing sweetheart? What up, Banks? Hey, what's up, Mang? Um, they were grabbed by a spotter. Yeah, because I, I I heard that like St. Louis is kind of a hub for sex, uh, for for child trafficking, um, or sex trafficking. Uh, I would love a little bit, a lo I would love to know a little bit more about it about that. You know what I mean? In fact, the one thing I've always wanted to do is interview somebody. I know it's kind of hard to do that. But interview somebody that has been a victim of sex trafficking, um, because I would just love to hear their actual take on the experience and just the lingo, the breakdown, what what certain things mean. What is blow, what blows my mind is that St. Louis is a hub for victims to get snatched. And it's weird. I don't get why. Of all places, St. Louis, not not L.A., 
you see what I'm saying? Not Denver, not even Denver, not even Des Moines, Iowa. Why is it St. Louis of all things? You know, it's it's a it's a very weird thing to me. Very weird thing. But hello, everybody who's who's jumped in and jumped on and has jumped in and out and all that. You know what I mean? I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, be Florida, too. You know, and I just don't get it. I just don't get why those are the hot spots. Yes, St. Louis, one that was taken at the airport in Florida and one here. My clients are nationwide. This is a hot spot for human trafficking. Yes, that's what I mean. But why? Why is it a hot spot? Why is St. Louis, of all places, a hot spot for human trafficking? Why? It just seems so weird to me. Of all places, like I said, of all places, why St. Louis? Are we are, are, are the people of St. Louis that easily manipula manipulated into getting into a shady looking van? I, I don't know. I, I don't. I, and I'm not trying to sound like a jerk. It's just I'm just wondering how that. How that works and why St. Why St. Louis? <clears throat> it's just weird. I feel like you could go somewhere like L.A. and you can find plenty of people that would disappear, that could disappear. And no one give a crap about them in a way. Does that make sense? It's just weird to me. It's very weird to me. But yeah. St. Louis of all places. That's some wild stuff, man. Real talk. That's some wild ass stuff. But like I said, I'd love to hit up and talk to somebody who is going through that kind of thing because that's something that's very interesting to me for sure. But I am excited about tomorrow, though, because tomorrow I have a very, very special person coming onto the show. He's got a up and coming he's got a growing youtube channel right now his name is uh cleveland terry he's a dj he does a lot of live djing um shows on his youtube facebook instagram twitch mixer he's all over the place um and uh he he uh does a lot of tutorials on how to set up your live streams and do all your stuff na 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 and uh so he's going to be on the show tomorrow which is awesome and then i got a uh, a musical guest coming in to perform tomorrow morning as well and her name is Na Naika uh and she is going to be performing all the way from Atlanta Georgia so i'm very excited about her coming onto the show and talking about everything too you know um she's going to be Really great and very, very talented. Beautiful voice, beautiful face, the whole nine. So it's, it's going to be dope, you know? Uh, Jalen, we have more kids on the streets than you can imagine. Middle school kids are having babies. A 12-year-old has a baby. Wow. Yeah. It's so wild to me, man, as a result of trafficking. that that is That is just wild. I can't, you know, like I said, I'm trying to, I am so badly trying to wrap my mind around it, human trafficking in general, and how they get the, how they get, Huey. how did they lure the girl in? You know, how do they lure said person in? You know, what what's the trick? You know, there's always that thing of like, don't take candy from strangers type of thing when you, a kid is going to be kidnapped from said pedophile or something like that. But this is these are like these are grown a little bit older uh, boys and girls. So I'm wondering, what do they do? Ah, it's so hard to wrap your, your head around it. It's sad. They promise love and acceptance. Wow. See, and that's some sad stuff, too, you know, and that's not how it should be. Unfortunately, that's not. It's really not how it's supposed to be. Really sad. Religion here, that's the trick. I don't know what you mean by that, B. Please explain what you mean by religion here, that's the trick.
A lot of victims voluntarily go with traffickers. Why? Like, do they, you were saying they voluntarily go with traffickers because they know they're about to be trafficked or they voluntarily go because they're kind of put between a rock and a hard place type of situation. That's what I'd like to know. Oh, excuse me. They promise them anything they want. Oh, okay. I get it. Like, oh, if you come with me, I'll take care of you. You can get anything you want. You want that Xbox. You want that PlayStation. You want that new bike. You want that new dress. You want that new outfit. You want that iPhone. I can see that. Come follow me. Come with me. And then they Pied Piper them somewhere else. It's terrible. That's really, really terrible. (laughs) Hey, Jazz, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, But yeah, man, uh, they are given uh, ridiculous promises. Most don't know they are going to be trafficked until they are stuck. Yeah, that's that's messed up. See, and, and, and like I said, I would love to be able to interview or talk to somebody who has gone through those kind of things. That's the that's the goal, you know, um, because I wanted I want to put the message out there, tell the story. Uh, and get people to know what's going on and what they can do to avoid or what are the signs of said person. You know, if there's a said spotter or, you know, if they're getting groomed in some sort of way, how will they know that kind of thing? Um, I know that's, that there's no surefire way. There's no surefire thing. But I would love to be able to talk to somebody who has gone through those things and that is brave enough to step up and talk about those kind of things. It's it's I know it's scary, but that'll be good um b okay most of the christians here in my in my county are in the church system and they are and then they are the ones who work for the cpi and df dcf that's the trick stand in your power now ah i see now i see what you're saying absolutely find your faith or find that group of people that you trust and love and that will do you no harm and lean on them Big time. So I agree. I agree with that for sure, B. There you go. Now I get it. Now I get it. Absolutely. So, of course, like I said, guys, if you have not seen, if you have not seen the interview, I highly, highly recommend go and check out the Joyce Hawkins interview. It's really, really great. Uh, As so far, everybody's been really, really enjoying it. It is still being viewed as we speak. People are still checking that mug out, which, you know, is a blessing. I love it. Excuse me. I'm I'm really I'm really happy about that. I'm very excited about that. Um, Yes, you know, it is still doing its thing and growing and all that, which is great. You know, Um, then, of course, we have the other interview. Um, congratulations, Banks. Yeah. Hitting 60 subscribe subscribers, just getting even one subscriber is hard, bruh. I mean, shoot, I'm trying to get to just 10,000 subscribers right now. And it's been a long, long trek. Let me tell you long trek, but I'm, I'm enjoying every slow step towards that number. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Jalen, um, I'll see what I can do if if you let me know exactly what you're looking for. I have over 10,000 followers, so I should be able to help you with that. I am looking ex- for exactly what I said. I uh, so Jalen, thank you. What I'm looking for is someone who I can talk to who has been through through the you know, who has been trafficked um that has obviously come out okay um for the most part. Um and that's about it. I mean, it doesn't have to be someone who is 12. Um, it could be someone who is older, a little bit more mature, um, but has it ha- is a survivor. You know, that's the most important thing. I definitely want to have someone on that is a survivor. You know, I want to project and I want to endorse positivity. And I'm not sitting here saying that it's a happy ending. But I just want people to to realize that it there is light at the end of the tunnel. So. That would be great. 
you know. And I understand that, Jalen. You, you can't bring uh, religion into sessions. Uh, you'll lose them. I get that. You know what I mean? Um, Jazz, thank you. Uh, yeah, very, very great. Thank you so much. Yes, <laughs> I was so in love and inspired. Thank you, B. I really appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Jazz, that's what's up. You have you have 102 subscribers. That is dope. You know what I mean? Um, Banks, you gained 20 pounds during the, the quarantine. Dang, man. That's what's up, man. I'm telling you, donuts are, are delicious when when you're quarantined. I'm telling you, those donuts be calling, man. They'll call me in the middle of the night, bruh. You know, you got nothing else to do because the Rona. So you're just like, hey, donuts. You know what I'm saying? So trust. I feel you on that, bruh. I didn't, I haven't gained 20 pounds, but, you know, it's been hard to get a get a good workout in. You know what I mean? That That passionate, like, sweaty, just pumping iron type of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, Jalen, uh, I wouldn't have anyone under 18. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that. Like I said, I, I, I mean, I'm okay with interviewing somebody that's 12. It's just that as long as, of course, I'd have to get uh, uh, parental, uh, uh, parental consent, the whole nine, which is fine. But like I said, I just would like to be able to talk to somebody um, that is going to be able to have a full on conversation with me back and forth. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes the younger they are, the 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 harder it is to keep them on the course of the conversation. So I'm hoping that maybe I can, you know, whoever you think is is the right fit for an interview. I would love that because I feel like this is something that needs to be talked about and brought attention to for sure. You know. Yes. It's not good for a child's mental health. Yes. Watch how many people get sick after quarantine is lifted. Yep, I agree too. I totally agree. I think, you know, uh, it, things are going to be lifted. Um, of course, they're going to be in waves. They're going to be in, in succession. But at the same time, I'm telling you, y'all, I'm telling y'all, we got to be safe. We, we got to be careful about this stuff, man. I mean, still, just because they say, yeah, open the doors, you're free. Freedom. I think we all need to be safe about that stuff for real. We need to be smart. We should not just jump all the way in, close off, just buck naked, ready to go. We are going to get the Rona for sure. And then next thing you know, we're going to be locked up part duh. And we don't want that. We don't want that. We want to be able to go and be out in the sun and enjoy our 4th of July and stuff like that and be with our families. Like even right now, Mother's Day is right around the corner. Real talk. How is everybody going to do that right now? I'm sure everybody's going to just break the rules, I'm sure. But at the same time. Do you see what I'm saying? And everybody's just itching to get out. And I get it. But we just all need to be safe. We need to start. We need to be smart as a hazel. Just people are just so dang spoiled we too spoiled y'all i mean trust me i'd rather be spoiled than 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 rid of all the wonderful things that god has bestowed upon us american citizens but at the same time we we hella 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 spoiled big time and that's all good but that's how it is you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Woo! Anyway, uh, you know, guys, it was a great one. Oh, see, that's a good one. Having a virtual Mother's Day. Yes. You have seven kids. Dang. But that's great. Congratulations on that. That's beautiful. You know, and you're a grandmother now, so that's beautiful. You know, you got a beautiful grandkid. I'm sure you got other grandkids um, or not. Maybe she's the only grandkid you have, but still, that's still a blessing. So you're going to have all those wonderful, beautiful faces that you made hitting you up and wishing you a happy Mother's Day. That's a beautiful thing. I mean, I'll, I'll probably go drop something off at my mom's place, that kind of thing. You know, that, not go in, but just kind of show my love in some sort of way and show some support for sure, you know. Not my first, second, third rodeo. Yeah, it's in the morning in Australia when uh, Joyce saw 
when Joy's show came out, it was 1.30 in the morning, so I, I waited all night. Wow, it was so worth it. Wow, thank you. All the way from Australia. I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, thank you, Jazz. That really, really means a lot. That's that's heavy. That's heavy that you you did that. And uh, I really appreciate that. And of course, Joyce, you know, I'll just speak on behalf of Joyce. I'm sure she really appreciates that, too. You know, the the love, you know, the love from. Internationally is huge, you know, um, and is transcending more than you know. Um, being, you know, by the way, this is a nice little time to plug this in really quick. I do have a podcast. Um, so just a fun little reminder. I have a podcast. You can find it on iTunes, Spotify, uh, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio. All you got to do is just type in the Pascal show podcast and you can find all of the same interviews, the show, the, all that on our podcast. In fact, Joyce's interview is a podcast now, and that's now available on my podcast site. So please definitely go check that out or share that link. Please go share the the video too, the the uh, YouTube video. That would really mean a lot too, because uh, of course I would love that to get in the face of, of, of as many people as I possibly can. Because, uh, like I said, we put in a lot of work, you know, to do that one. And my my plan and my goal is to be able to do more of those kind of interviews in the very near future. So, of course, getting it in front of more people um, hopefully uh, turns into a calling card for me to be able to go and sit down with other celebrities as well. I've sat down with a whole gang of, in, uh, of, of celebrities as well. I mean, don't get it twisted. This is not like the only... She's not the only celebrity I've spoken to, but she is one of the biggest ones I've done. And, uh, you know, of course, being able to go to somebody's house, af uh, of course, after said pandemic and be able to talk to them and and hear them and be around them. Um, you know, it, it, that's that's the stuff that I really like to do. You know, I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get my Oprah on. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not trying. I am doing my I am getting my Oprah on. Except I just don't have billions of dollars and I can't give everybody a car and yeah. <laughs> but in my head, I'm already giving people, you know, millions of dollars and I'm giving people cars all day long. So that's the goal. The goal is to do that. So, I mean, if you can, please share, please tell people the whole nine. If you even just like hearing my voice, you just want to check things out and you're just like, hey, I can't watch the video, but I'll definitely listen to the podcast. Then please go hit that podcast. You know what I'm saying? Download a couple, have a chuckle or two. I did one where um, I did a story time about the time that I met uh, Bushwick Bill from the Ghetto Boys, who just recently passed this past year. I had one of the last interviews that he ever had. Um, live on my show and uh, it's on my YouTube channel as well um, but that was like th three years ago when he uh, he came onto the show and uh, so I did a little story time where just talking about how I met him and how he came onto the show and it's a it's a crazy fun little story you know we had a we had a lot of good times on that for real you know um, oh it's sad that Chris can't come to Australia or tour in Australia because I am his biggest fan, and it's just so sad. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. That does suck. You know, he's really, really talented, but he still can tour in America. That he can still tour in certain uh, in certain countries. So I'm sure at some point you'll be able to see him live. I got to see him live uh, this past October, and I'm telling you that was wild. I mean, he's so talented. You know, that's man. Unbelievable. Can't believe he can do that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe he can dance and that way and do all the stuff that he does. That is that is full on dedication. Dedication. You know what I mean? So that's dope, you know. But anyway, I got to get going, guys. You know, um, tomorrow's another day, another show, the whole thing. Um, so I really appreciate you guys checking out 
this sitting down chatting with me you know of course i love having you guys talk with me and everything and so i'm still doing these things at seven o'clock you know so i'll be doing this tomorrow night at seven so um or I, I actually i might change tomorrow's time to a little bit later i don't know yet um it just really depends on how i feel after tomorrow's show i'm pretty beat to begin with this has been a very long week and i still have a very dope um, interview like a laundry list of guests coming on uh, on Friday and the laundry list of people that are coming on next week are ridiculous I can't even explain it to you it's about to be off and popping and it's gonna be redunculous and I cannot wait for you guys to see what's going what's gonna be unfolding next week it's gonna be fun anyway it's time to get going y'all be good to yourselves be good to one another and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay blessed out there. Bye. So you're trying to tell me you haven't seen anything strange happen around here in the last couple of days. <laughs> One of us is gonna have to go.